When I joined the League, I was conscripted with another man, Damien Dark. We would become the prized agents of Raish al Ghul. We were his horsemen, and he molded us into warriors the likes the world had never seen. We were his brothers. What happened to him? He believed himself worthy of becoming heir to the demon. But I was the one chosen. So you had to kill him? Yes. But you see, I hesitated. And with that hesitation, he found an opportunity to escape, taking with him his loyalists and water from a Lazarus pit. And he has vexed me ever since. <laughs> Interesting technique. League of Assassins, am I right? I've been waiting a long time for this. A long time for what? To kill you. Try to, Umi. Fall back! Or there won't be a next bomb. You see, my partner wants to move on to other things. But your partner isn't here, is he? According to who? Hello, Eobard. Mr. Dark. Congratulations, Professor. You just bought yourself a nuclear weapon. Well, well. We seem to have a new player. But you seem a bit academic. How did you get in here, and who are you? As of a few seconds ago, I'm a nuclear power. Yet I don't know you or your organization, and I know everyone. Hey, back off. Watch your tone. Is there some sort of problem here? Yeah. The master race here is starting to bug me. We're just gonna get our nuclear warhead and be on our way. You know, I had this under control. My way's faster. Speed isn't everything, Mr. Thon. You should have learned that lesson by now. What's it been, 45 years since you hired me to nuke New York? Well, 45 years for you, maybe, but for me? Huh. Good seeing you again, old friend. Old? That's fair. Friend? Now, that's something that has to be done. How merciful of you. I'm sparing you to prolong your suffering. As I'm from the future, Damien. And I know how this all ends. Your arc, your grand vision, just as you're about to accomplish everything you desire. Your wife is murdered, the love of your life. And in total despair, you even try to kill your own daughter. An entire city rises up against you. And then you die. Defeated and alone. Take me back there now. I will get your item back for you. The legends have left 1987. The item is beyond your reach. That blonde woman, she's a time traveler like you. She knows what happens to me in the future. I'm sure she does. Then take me with you. I need to change my destiny. Mr. Capone! It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I canceled tickets to the opera because I heard there was new players in town. No one told me it was Halloween. <laughs> well, it's more like Christmas. Oh, that's, I like that. It's very good. See, my associate and I have come with a proposition. We've seen how you run your empire, and we're impressed. But there's room for improvement. And we'd like to offer our services. Wow. It's a portable planetarium. It's a compass. Compasses generally find things. Indeed. Have either of you gentlemen heard of the Spear of Destiny? Yes, it was a spear that was reportedly used to penetrate the side of Christ after he died on the cross. And now it can be used to rewrite reality itself. You know, I'll be honest, which I have to admit, I don't have much practice in. I don't like this situation. Not one bit. For one thing, Mr. Thon has this habit of treating me like a henchman. Do you know what all henchmen have in common, Captain Hunter? 
No thoughts on this one? The thing that all henchmen have in common is that they all end up dead. A fate that I am fastidiously trying to avoid. Maybe it's that I just hate taking orders or being threatened. You don't like being threatened, do you? Hmm? What's that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> You just reminded me of something. Which is? How much I've missed this. Sorry about the ruse, but I figured it was the only way to get inside. Oh, hey guys. I see you've met my friend Arthur here. Give us a smile, Arthur. Arthur. The king has left the building. You've done a bang-up job dealing with my pest problem, though that term may be giving you vigilantes a little too much credit. Even a cockroach knows when to pack up and head out of Dodge. Star City is my home. I will never stop fighting. Sure you will. Kill her. Hmm. Get rid of that. The very first thing I did in this reality was acquire my magic. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Ms. Lance. Having you around to attend to my every whim was too enticing to pass up. Plus, it's so hard to find good help these I days. The Thawne should have killed you morons at the reactor. But then I realized. Now, I get to kill the legends myself. <laughs> Gideon, fire! Fire everything! Aww. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Is that the best you've got? How about this? Get this to the ship. Oh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> would be too kind. Right, so let me get this straight. In retaliation for me helping kill your team, bending reality and torturing you, I'm to wear this ridiculous outfit and shoes without socks? Just setting things right. You mean setting me on the path to killing your sister? I've already made that choice. I'm okay with it. And so is Laurel. And how do you know that? Damon continues the League's ways, but through his own organization filled with a hive of agents devoted to his own agenda. Last year, he tried to purchase Malcolm Merlin's earthquake generator. He gave Gollum Cardia safe haven to Markovia, and he hired Mark Shaw to steal a secret file from Argus. This was all the work of one man? The 
this goes on. According to internal emails, the floor was shut down for a Damien Dark. A name like that has to be an alias. Damien Dark is in Starling City. My father's the most bitter enemy. That's why Roz hasn't released the virus. He wants to use it to kill Damien Dark. This was never just about my ascension. Roz wants to take out his nemesis. Roz, you dead. Mm. He's planning a bioweapon to take you out. Oh, that's a considerable amount of work to go to. Roz certainly must want Mr. Dark off the board. Oh, you seem surprised. Mr. Dark left Starling the moment he learned of Ra's intention. It's amusing. The demon's head thinks he can catch my employer unaware. Oh, keep your seats. Excuse me, this is a private meeting. Oh, excellent. I despise interruptions. Who the hell are you? Me? I'm the man you're looking for. I'm the one who controls, or what do you people call them? The ghosts? I'm Damien Dark. Engineers have had no success in restoring you to your proper size, so I thought it'd appeal to your cooperation. And what do I get if I help you out? Apart from probably death. No. I don't think it's your life you should be worried about. I'm sorry, Felicity. This is my fault. And who is this Felicity, I wonder? Certainly not your former vice president, current CEO, girlfriend. Don't you touch her. Don't make empty threats. Serves them right. It's getting stolen and used against them. Oh. You brought arrows to a gunfight. What guns? Oh, that was actually pretty clever. <laughs> Kill them. Oh, you know, I gotta be honest. I really thought we'd be doing this dance a lot longer. Night, night. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? My invitation was lost in the mail. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's not my kind of scene anyway. Hmm. I'm only here to have a word with the man of the hour. What do you want? Well, something I can't have, apparently. Your loyalty. Your allegiance. I told you there'd be a price to pay if you refused. I made that decision. Not these people. Let them go. I wish I could do that. I really do. But sometimes the best way to teach someone a lesson isn't to punish them. It's to punish the ones he cares about the most. Bye-bye. Really? And here I was ready to just call it even for the night. You may go. As the kids say, I got this. You really haven't learned anything, have you? Oh, I might have learned a little. Where's my family? I saved them. I want to be clear about something. I have shown you repeatedly that you cannot beat me. You saved my family. So I'll give you a few weeks to spend with yours. Enjoy your time. I don't like to be kept waiting. My apologies. I don't have the resources I once had. Yes, I'm aware of your recent reversal of fortune. I take it that's why you asked for this meeting. Well, I haven't come empty-handed. So to speak. I have some information that you might find of particular interest. I know who Oliver Queen cares about more than anyone in the whole world. Yes, yeah, so do I. We did a pretty good number on her over the holidays. It's not Felicity Smoke. Who? His son. William. Extremely powerful. 
powerful friends. You do not know who you're messing with. If it makes you happy, the messing ends today. I tried to bring you into the fold, Mr. Queen. I tried to kidnap your nearest and dearest. I tried to kill you, but none of that took. Oh, like you said, you don't know who you're messing with. I suspect that is true. But as they say, well, or should, the fourth time is the charm. Go ahead, take a look. I'll wait. William thinks that I'm friends with his mother. Where's the boy? <laughs> you have some very interesting friends. Oh, boy. Make sure none of his friends are stashing anything for him. You know, you're lucky I'm not the man that you think I am, Miss Lance. If I were the man that your father so vehemently claims, you'd be in a lot of trouble right now, wouldn't you? Are you threatening an assistant district attorney? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Just merely trying to figure out where your father gets these vicious ideas from. Oh. I hope his mind isn't starting to go. You know, dementia is sometimes an after effect of long-term alcoholism. You're a son of a bitch. Regardless, it's comforting to know that his heart is in the right place. A father would do anything to protect his daughter from the dark. We've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Ms. Lance, nine months ago, I made your daddy a promise. I told him what I would do if he betrayed me. <laughs> Impressive. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I want you to give your father a message from me. I want you to tell him. I'm a man of my word. I'm a death 1159. Small world, isn't it? Your brother-in-law being my loyal servant? Thanksgiving at your home is going to be so interesting this year. <laughs> cool. You know, I didn't even mean to do that. Turn steel arrows into dust, and you thought lead would do the trick? He's not human anymore. Oh, I'm still human. Just better. My daughter, the pain of growing up without her mother. <laughs> or Mr. Lance, living without Laurel. And don't get me started on your hate. It's not so easy without the magic, is it? Oh, I don't need magic. I'm a former member of the League of Assassins. Or have you forgotten that? Remind me. What are you gonna do now, Oliver? Stop posturing. We both know you can't do it. You spare the life of the man who killed your own mother. You killed a friend of mine. You killed tens of thousands of innocent people. With Slade Wilson, I had a choice. This time I don't. <laughs>
Who stole my watch? Queen said right before he killed you. Not bad. You want those to be your last words? <laughs> No magic. Oh no, I agreed that I wouldn't use my magic. I couldn't make that same promise for her. Uh, that's the thing about daughters. When they see you die at the hands of one self-righteous hero, they really don't want to see it happen again. Your daughter. The apple of my eye. Ah, uh, Vietnam. Crappy war, bitchin' music. Where is Grodd? Who are you? Is that any way to treat your number one fan? A nuclear crisis in Central City? Masterful. Why else do you think I'd pull you out of Vietnam before you fell into that napalm inferno? Send me back. I know, you wanted a time ship. But who needs a lumbering tin can when you can time travel with a single thought? 